Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of a Matrix Technology brand power supply. This is the MPS-3206. Now this is a uh, switching power supply. It's not linear. And some of the advantages is going to be a lighter weight and physically smaller. So this unit is nice and small and compact, which is really nice. Comes with a US plug and nice banana plugs with high quality clips on the end as you can see right there they're not slippery like some of the cheaper ones these are nice so some of the specs of this and before i forget it does come with an instruction sheet that details the specs as well as how to operate the constant current and constant voltage of the supply now we're going to measure some parameters we're going to measure the ripple under load and we're going to try and set that constant current and constant voltage you see it has three terminals here it has your plus and minus and an earth ground and that ground is essentially should be the same as the earth ground on the u.s plug there's also a button right here we're going to figure out what that's for and that turns and you got your nice terminal lugs right there that will fit the included connectors. Then you have a main power switch and an output switch that allows you to turn the output on and off for safety so that you could pre-select the voltage before you drive your test circuit or your motor or whatever you're doing. Now this will go up to 32 volts at 6.1 amps. So that's that's pretty decent power. You can multiply 32 by 6.1 and get the watts has a four digit red LED traditional display has over voltage protection from 0 to 32 volts plus or minus 2.2 percent and over current uh, from 0 to 6.1 amps plus or minus 0.2 percent it has a smart fan it should only come on when it's needed it's not going to run until it's needed to cool it off the company provides a one-year warranty and 24-hour continuous operation this power supply should work it's not going to overheat uh, even under full loads the load regulation they're saying is 0.1 percent or 5 millivolts the ripple should be about 10 millivolts rms under load and the setting resolution is 10 millivolts or a tenth of a percent so we're going to test these parameters out and see how well it performs. So I took the cover off so we can look at the electronics inside here. Here you can see the fan and all the switching supply electronics. So you get an idea. Now what I noticed right off the bat is this is a very clean design. Everything's laid out nicely. They're using wire ties. Everything is very solid. Look at the oversized heat sink. Everything is very detailed and very clean. And they even have a stress brace on the top, which you rarely see. The screws came off quite easily. So looking at the other side, you can look at that also and see how clean the wiring is. It's just flawless. And if you look at the front, the front right there has the whole circuit board with the integrated circuits right there and plugs they're all color coded and marked and this little driver right here is also a separate circuit board and it's all color coded the connectors have a glue red glue on them and that keeps them closed i've never seen that before so overall this is probably the neatest internal power supply that i've tested and I own about 12 power supplies, so that's saying a lot. So this this is very nice. So here I have a multimeter connected to the output terminals of the Matrix MPS3206. So we're going to turn this power supply on. And you see it's got the voltage and the current displayed. And you notice there's no output. This is just wandering around because I didn't hit the on output right there. Now it goes, shows 31.78, 31 31.73. I believe that the meter is more accurate even than that. So this is the reference standard for this. Because they accurately calibrate 
uh, the company Matrix Technology accurately calibrates this before they ship it. So to change the voltage, you hit the voltage right there, then you just turn the display. And you could also walk by clicking and pushing in. You could change larger numerical values. So there I went, there's 17.7. And then I could hit that again. And I can go change it small digits or walk it across to the larger digits just like that. Now it's 20.83. And you see it's matching over there on the multimeter. Now if you want to change the current, you hit the voltage current button again twice. Then you see the amperage change right there. And you could walk the characters along the, the levels along also all the way up to the maximum of 6.1 amps. Now you notice what happens, it goes to zero because there's nothing connected, there's no load. If you had a load, that would change and show you the current at that given voltage. So you can see it's very accurate. This is more accurate than even the multimeter. So it's right, it's spot on the voltage because they do calibrate it at the factory. So now I have the resistive load on here, right across the terminals right there. I'm no longer measuring the voltage. And you could see that 18.59 volts at 3.6 amp. So that is the current that is going through this. It's heating up right now. So let's just take a look. If I multiply that, that's about 18 times 3.6. So that's uh, about 64 watts going through this resistor. And of course, it's, it's getting a little warm. Now, if I want to increase the voltage, if I want to increase the voltage, I hit the voltage right there and click this to advance it to the higher amount. And there's 32 volts. That's the maximum right there. And now let's go to current. And let's see if I can increase that. So there's the maximum right there, 6.1 amps at 32 volts. Now if I multiply that out, that's 32. So that's 188 watts going through it. Now this is getting really hot. I can hear it's making like a sizzling sound. So it's handling that current nicely. I haven't heard the fan come on. So it's not overheating the unit itself because the fan hasn't enabled. Now we're going to look at uh, the uh, ripple in this worst case scenario. We're going to see what's going on in terms of the ripple. I have an oscilloscope right here. So as I'm running this, it's getting really hot. And I notice the fan just kicked out. You can hear how quiet it is. So you can hear the fan, and this is sizzling right now. So the fan came on, and it's extracting the heat from the power supply, just like it should. So I'm going to measure the ripple right here. So I'm going to put this load back on, because it got really hot. And I have a the oscilloscope right here. And let's show you right there. So I'm getting uh, less than 200 millivolts peak to peak of ripple at this full current right there. So that's really good. Very clean. Now here I still have the load on and I have constant current constant voltage switch pushed and I want the current to stay at 2 amps so if I go to current it's set at 2 amps right there now the voltage is set at 10.8 and knows the constant voltage is on so if I change the voltage keep increasing it you know, the current stays on and the constant current indicator comes on. So even though I'm increasing the voltage on there, it's keeping the current constant to protect your low whatever it is. So what's my overall opinion about the Matrix Technology brand MPS-3T06 DC Bench Power Supply? 
Well, as you can see, I demonstrated everything on here. Uh, that flickering display is just because of the camera frame rate. So don't pay attention to that. But as you see, I test everything out and everything worked within spec. And I like this power supply. I like the form factor, the electronics inside. It's very nice quality. I'm gonna give it a full five star rating on my channel. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to alert to new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helps you with your buying decisions. Thank you for watching.